Hello there, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a new kit, bundle and PDF tutorial to share with you. This is my armoire kit, fully decorated in Grand Hotel by Stamperia for this beautiful shabby chic muted look and Lost in Paradise by Graphic 45 for a bright, vibrant um, feel. The armoire measures 14 inches high from the base to the top of the pediment and 7 inches wide by 6.5 inches deep and um, it really is a fabulous project to make. So let me take you through each of the samples and share what's inside. So this is the Grand Hotel one. I'm going to stand it up but it will come quite close to the camera so that you can see um, the top and the sides and the back. I've created a two-dimensional side with different papers and just put a little black border around to separate them. And then on the front we've got two drawers in the bottom and then two doors and the doors are interchangeable you can put them on the left or the right um, we've got nice little wooden knobs that open the doors and then inside there is an album box a mini album and in the PDF instructions there is an additional element you can add a, a suspended shelf and then there is a little box that sits on that shelf as well. So big space to put all sorts of things. You don't have to add albums and boxes. You could use it for uh, lots and lots of different things. The door on the right, uh, the left hand side here comes with a centre so you can have it as a solid door, you could have it as a door with a border and a decorated centre or like I've done put the acetate in so that you can see straight into what's inside. And then I've added little wooden feet at the bottom to match little wooden doorknobs. So a really sturdy kit. It comes black packed, it's got a slot and stick assembly system which makes it easy to put together and then I have edged uh, the outside edges with my black construction tape as well. So this one, as I say, has been decorated in the Grand Hotel collection by Stamperia. I've used the maxi pad and the mini pad for the whole project, just to give me a mix of papers to create with. So let's start with the, well, let's start with the little box. I've used the same papers on the inside and the outside. This little box is made from card and then decorated in the papers and it's got a little pull on the end to pull it out of the armoire. This box is the same size as the album. I've added a handle so that you can pull it out of the armoire and then inside there's lots of room to put whatever you like to put in a little box and I've used one of the cut parts here to make a little pocketed tuck spot on the inside of the lid and then just coordinated the stripy papers that go beautifully with the florals and this shabby sheet look on the outside and then I've given it a black bottom <laughs> I give everything a black bottom and then the album again is coordinated with the stripy papers on the outside one of the cutter parts made into a pocket so that you can tuck things in there and then a few dangles cut out from the Tim Holtz tiny tags and tabs die just suspended on some embroidery thread. I've gone for florals on the spine and then we've got the black bottom again on the black back. I just think you can save on paper by putting a black back on your albums and then inside Lots of places to tuck things away, a double layered pocket and then a lovely set of pages that are 
positioned on page mounts which sit on the spine mounts so you get that lovely layered effect and again I've used the cutter parts from the collection to create pockets on the page and tuck spots as well and then on the back of each page there's an additional spot to tuck pictures or ephemera underneath and again on this page we've got tuck spot behind tuck spot in the cutout and then tuck spot behind and you can see how beautifully all of these papers work together I love the patchwork effect the stripes it really does have I think a turn of the century feel that grandiose as the collection says grand hotel look and feel to it and then we've got more tuck spots. I've cut the little tags out of the paper to pop in the pockets. I've got the tuck spot behind here. And then the pages get larger towards the middle and then smaller towards the back. They're all assembled in exactly the same way. With the little tuck spots and the cutouts and then the little pockets behind. And then right at the back there's a little envelope cut from the collection to pop things in. So that is the mini album and the two boxes. Now the armoire kit comes with the PDF that um, is video driven that gives you the assembly guide for the armoire and then the cutting guide to cut the album, the box and the mini box out of, the albums and the box are cut out of chipboard, the mini box is cut out of card and then video assembly guides and then a generic cutting guide for the whole thing so that you can use the papers of your choice and you just cut the papers to the size specified to stick on the surface that they have been cut for. So it's not product specific, it really is a generic guide so that you can choose your papers and create a beautiful project. So that one is the Grand Hotel project and here's the Lost in Paradise version. I've changed the doors so that I've got the smaller door on the left, larger door on the right. I've decorated it in greens on the outside and the Bird of Paradise paper. I love that paper and it really does give it a totally different look. This is very hot and very vibrant and I've gone for the greens and the same papers all the way around and then on the top as well and on the pediment and then the buttons I've cut little bits of paper out and coordinated them with the florals on the doors so that uh, they blend in really really well and they're covered in a little bit of glossy accents just because they're the areas that you're going to touch the most and the glossy accents protects the paper and then inside this one we've got the same we've got the box the album the little pull-out box and then in this bottom section our A6 notebook, our stitched notebook kit also fits inside so I've made one of those to go in here too. So let's talk you through. Um, the drawers I've decorated in yellows so if I stand it up and pull them out you'll be able to see. I've sort of gone with the hot colours from the collection and sort of been keeping with the Birds of Paradise paper on the outside. So that is the finished armoire and here are the elements inside. So we'll start with the album. So I've gone with the Toucan on the front. I have to say he's my favourite picture in this collection. I've used the stickers on the front here and just a little glossy accent to turn them into buttons. And used green paper again. Green was really the theme for the project. We've got some dingle dangles just with a little sequin on each. 
cut from the tiny tabs and tags die again and the lovely toucan on the spine and then inside this album is slightly different the structure is the same but I've put pockets on the inside front and back covers and then you can see them there which give you a really nice tuck spot to pop things into and then I've kept the pages completely plain and put uh, my little clips on each of the pages so that you can just clip your pictures into them and then each page does have the tuck spot behind it like the Grand Hotel version so that you can pop more into the album and in the PDF tutorial that comes with the armoire it takes you through um, an intro video with all of the information about how to create these two different looking albums. So that's a little album and then the little box again I've gone with the hot yellow and inside I've got the flamingo paper. I love that and I've just cut a whole sheet of the paper into sections so that the pattern runs all the way through the box in the right direction and then the larger sized album box I've added just a little pull on the spine so that you can pull it out of the armoire I've gone for flamingo pictures on the front little sentiment life is beautiful and then on the inside I've gone for the hot yellow again and that gorgeous flamingo from the signature sheet on the inside of the lid and all the way around I've used the green papers the little box has got a magnetic closure as well just to keep it shut so that what you put inside doesn't fall out and then here is the little A6 notebook perfect um, for your 6x4 ephemera. I've got a stripy spine and then lots of pages. It is a handmade book so it's got a unique look to it and then on the back we've got one of the smaller ephemera cards mounted on black card and everything fits very nicely into the armoire. You could actually get two or three of the little books in there too. So what a fabulous project that makes. So if you'd just like to make the album and the box, there is a separate PDF um, that covers what to cut out from the chipboard and then video assembly guides on how to put the box and the album together, make the clips, a generic cutting guide so that you can choose your papers and make a project that suits your style. So I'll put the links to the armoire kit, the armoire bundle and the PDF for the album and the box in the description below the video. So I hope you've enjoyed that walkthrough of our latest kit. Thanks very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video do give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and then you'll be kept up to date with new projects and products as they come out. Thanks for watching.